leading in, we ask the question, how many times has this happened to you? You uh, open the incubator only to find nothing but frustrating blue colony. Repeated failed attempts to clone, you know, a large fragment puts you weeks behind in your research. How long does that process take? I mean, does one attempt put them weeks behind? So, if you, you do PCR and you might be able to do the cloning reaction in the same day and then you plate. Now, on day two, I have a uh, plate of colonies. I'm picking a colony. I'm doing a mini prep to identify. This is the fastest way to identify the positive tran transformant. I find it. I inoculate another culture. End of day two. Start of day three. Um, day three, I will do my plasmid preparation. Day four, I am sending my sample off for sequencing. So I would propose that in the fastest scenario, you are getting your experimental result in one week. Okay. So um, that's you're, you're burning at least a week. At least a if week. If it doesn't go the way you want. Right. Um, now... And then how, how often does that happen? Um, for a large fragment, I... For a redo, is that what you're asking? Mm -hmm. I would say it's probably, with our tech, topo technology, it's probably about 50% of the time. And with others? It's even more. Even more? Yeah. So what does the GeneX solution do to reduce that? So gene synthesis is you type your sequence onto the computer and send it. And if it's less than 2 kb, you get 100% accurate, maybe optimized if you want it, sequence in basically a week. Yeah. And you don't, don't have to sequence, it's worry about it. Why isn't everybody doing this? There, so there's two, two factors. The first is that scientists are resistant to change. So even though this is an imperfect solution right now. It's what everybody else does. It's what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with it. And then there's the, uh, the charge. So it is charge. to do gene synthesis. So the right. incremental expense over cloning. Yeah, but how much are we talking about? I mean, a week of time and not just... So a week of an undergraduate's time is almost zero. That's sad. Um, a week of you know, an industrial... Who are you asking, I'm sure. Right. right. Okay. A, a week of a bench scientist at Amgen is significantly more. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So, let's... And, and, and so, but you didn't answer, how much more is, is the uh, synthetic biology alternative? So, probably about $500 for, to get to a um, finished clone sequence with gene synthesis and that $350 range with uh, traditional cloning. Okay, so the difference is not three or four times. It's like, it's an extra 150 bucks or so. If everything goes right, right. and you strip labor costs out. Right. Yeah. The, la the higher labor costs are associated with manual cloning. So um, when you push that into the equation, okay. then they balance out, basically. Okay. But the, the labor um, is always highly debatable. What is the primary motivation for people to, do, to use gene synthesis? In? Is that just, is it the, uh, kind of the, the confidence that I know I'm going to get it right and I'm not going to end up with, you know, uh, uh, you know, 50% chance that my results that, will be dead when I open the incubator? Across the board, the, the act, so the 100% the sequence accuracy and basically freeing up my time to go do something else, yeah. um, that's the, the main crux. Oh, that's interesting. Um, okay, so let's, so let's take, move on. Okay, so the next on. one is, so this um, has to do with um, the 
increasing need through systems biology for people to take multiple gene fragments and assemble them into a single construct. So the problem that happens with traditional experiments is you end up you know, with a crazy sequence of events to try and assemble one at a time each one of these pieces that I need to get into my construct. So um, here we have, you know, basically uh, a whiteboard with many different enzymes. Great, and a great way to illustrate the, the complexity because everybody has seen these right. crazy models. So, you know, people still attempt it. They say, okay, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. It's going to take, you know, a week for me just to try and do you know, the different assemblies if everything goes right. So we're saying, you know, end, you know, this sort of craziness of the complex experiments. Okay. And then this is the gene optimization component. So you could do everything right and get your gene into the vector, and then you put it into a cell and it doesn't express. So that's the... Is that with both techniques? Uh, no, this is with uh, traditional cloning. So why isn't that the case with... Uh... Gene synthesis, gene synthesis because of gene optimization. Okay. So um, this is the example of a human gene being expressed in a bacterial cell. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just won't work in a bacteria. It could be toxic. There are a number of different reasons. Mm -hmm. But just when you think you're kind of like over the hill, right? Then, safe. then okay. you find out it, it's not going to express. Okay. And what if there was a way to get the exact sequence you need with 100% reliability, optimized to express in your host system? in five working days. Yeah. You know, would you be interested in that? Now you can, gene, gene R gene synthesis and optimization. Yeah. So then we talk, then we're, you know, basically reiterating the points about uh, gene synthesis. It gives you freedom from the burden of cloning, no more screening, disappointing results. It's 100% accuracy every time. Confidence in your results, you don't need to sequence, and you have you know, the option to have your sequence cloned into your vector. Our technology goes beyond you know, just gene synthesis, goes into this realm of uh, optimization. So it's proven to increase protein expression levels. You know, it does this, one of the ways it does this is by stabilizing mRNAs, optimizing codon usage, et cetera. Mm. Cool. Um, so, you know, we're now speed, no longer spend long hours waiting to get your construct. You know, we have a super speed production option that can deliver 1,200 base pairs in five days, 1,800 in seven days. And if you're in an emergency What's situation. An emergency? <laughs> so there's a, a flu pandemic in the U.S. I can see doing a very cool video around just emergency genes available.